everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here today to review the market. Haven't done a market review in a little while and let's go over it. Oh, I just noticed something here <laughs> that I didn't even notice this morning. Look at that. Huh. Ay, 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 ay. This market is so strong. This this market is so, 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 so strong. I am speechless. So I still think we hit up over the high here before the end of the year. And really, we could even do it before the end of this month, which which I was saying earlier. All-time highs in the market up over 120.50. We could have just straight up unrallied in through here. We didn't. We I'm seeing now that we didn't, actually, because of the gap. And I missed that. why so this this gap and I'm not saying it has to for the market to hold strong I'm not saying it has to it doesn't matter it it, it, it well it, the only thing it matters is that it would mean that it's crazy strong which I've already been saying to everyone but I'm seeing now that there is a possibility that this gap could actually hold and the reason that we didn't shoot up like a rocket and then came in here now is because we were situating ourselves because of the gap up because because look at this here we actually closed on this night this is back on october 22nd at 109.71 and then we gapped up and open at 112.66 so it was like a three dollar gap up and we held the gap which i called it we would and we did and it was long it was a great call and it was long but anyways we held it and that was kind of a large gap up for the market to hold after rallying for like a month so this is all working itself out and i'm seeing this now here because i see the level that we held today so the low of the gap here is around 112, and this looks good. And I don't buy pullbacks. I buy gaps if I buy them. And that's the only place to buy as far as I'm concerned because of the strategy would be the gap. So if you were long the market, you could have gone long this gap. But you should have been in the market long before, but you could have gone long that gap. Anyways, it, 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 it looks like it's trying to hold, and that's amazing. And I'm not saying it has to for the market to hold and make the new high because it's going to make the new high no matter if that gap holds or not. But I'm saying that if that does hold, that will be amazing. Nothing surprises me anymore about the strength in the market. So we should pretty much just go right after we get up over this next number here, 115.47-ish, 115 115.50-ish. 115 Today is November 10th. We still could do that before the end of this month in November. We could do it the holiday week of Thanksgiving. I mean, anything is possible because the market is very, very strong. We will definitely, definitely make a new all-time high in the queues over 120.50 before the end of the calendar year 2015. Took all year to do it in the queues, not all year in the spy, but it's going to do it. So beautiful, 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 strong, bullish market. And that's the scoop. So have a great day, everyone. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. If you're interested in more information on the Golden Gap class of learning how to read gaps like this, like I made the market call, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next class is November 21st and 22nd. Have a great day, everyone.